Hi, I'm Ruth and I'm here for the ADHD Advocate to give you some top tips for teachers. I've been a teacher for over 10 years and I started my career working with children with ADHD and ASC. Um, some of the most effective tips that I want to share that I've come across over the years, so there's lots online that you can find out. These are just some of the ones I found personally for me have been most beneficial to my practice. Now, firstly, it's important to bear in mind that even if you haven't got any children diagnosed with ADHD in your sort of class, statistically, you will be teaching a, a kid at some point with ADHD, whether diagnosed or undiagnosed. So it's important to bear in mind. And what I found is a lot of the tips for ADHD pupils also work really well for, for all pupils in lesson, how we all sort of learn better anyway. So it's great to bear that in mind too. So firstly, I'd like to say, mainly plan lessons with the ADHD and pupils in mind. If you plan a lesson and bear in mind the things that are gonna work them for, well for them, are gonna stimulate them, are gonna help structure the lesson for them and help give clear visuals and different things that they need to thrive, then it'll also work really well for other pupils in the lesson as well. Plan a lesson that includes movement breaks um, when at all possible. If you see an ADHD pupil struggling with their movement, you can see that they want it, they're, they're dying to get up and move. Give them a positive opportunity to do so. Don't don't let it get to the point where they then use that move. That it then turns into some sort of distraction or something that's less positive for the behaviour in the classroom. Give them something positive that they can put their energy into so they can move physically and feel good about themselves in doing so. Find out about their interests and wherever possible, link these to the lessons. Um, pupils and students with ADHD can really hyper-focus when they're interested in a topic and obviously any interest there will really help guide their focus and ensure that they do stay focused. Um, pupils with ADHD often are verbal processors and they need to talk a lot. Um, so allow plenty of activities and time for them to talk to their peers about what they're learning about and it'll also just buffer, give a bit of buffer time so that they can get anything else off their chest in between that might then hinder their focus. Uh, catch them doing something positive. Uh, ADHD experts um, estimate that by, by the age 10 that children with ADHD have experienced like 20,000 more negative messages um, than positive messages, whether that's from parents, carers, teachers, peers. So just bear that in mind and whenever you can catch a people with ADHD doing something positive, just really be that person that gives them that positive feedback and encouragement that they need to thrive. Just bear in mind that they might be getting a lot of negative input from, because of how their symptoms are presenting and that if you can give them that positive input, just do. Um, I find it really helps to reframe how you think about students with ADHD. So a student that might be easily distracted, um, try and think of it instead of having like high levels of awareness and observation. If a student starts interrupting, think of it as like their enthusiasm to contribute. Uh, wherever possible, make visual cues and reminders and help them stay organised by keeping on top of their visual timetables and in a place where they can't misplace it. Um, Recognise that doodling and fidgeting really helps them to remain focused and is an important outlet for them. And give them an appropriate fidget toy and also an appropriate place to doodle so they don't end up accidentally doing it somewhere where they're going to get in trouble for it. Um, and I think um, my last main tip that I'd like to share today is Take care of yourself. Supporting students with ADHD, as, as with supporting any young people in their development, is hard work and it is draining and it is emotionally and physically tough on some, time, some days. Make sure you're looking after yourself so you can bring the positivity and the energy that you need to bring to the job in order to support them as best you can.